Hi everybody, today I have a review on the Toy Story and Beyond Disney Store Buzz Lightyear that was um, around the Disney Store from 2002 up until like 2009 I think when they released the modern ones that ha they have consistently been using. Um, and wow, okay, so he is very weird. He's probably one of the most bizarre buzzes I have in my collection at this moment, or at least in the big ones. But, I mean, the most noticeable part is the fact that he has such a skinny head. Like, and I thought the Buzz, the, um, I thought the Disney store, the, the modern Buzz, Disney store Buzz's um, face mold is um, weird. This guy has such a skinny head compared to all the other ones, and it really stuck out to me for some reason. Um... Also, um, adding on to it, his feet, you could get another, or just a normal buzz. So here's just a normal think why buzz, but he, compared to the Disney store, this new Disney store, Buzz's feet, the one that, the 2002 one, Look at how long they are compared to the average Buzz feet length. They are so wide. Like, un unnaturally wide. They're really bizarre. Super bizarre. Um, also, I guess another thing to mention for him is the fact that his wings, this button here, the, the button that normally, like, opens the wings on literally every single Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, no. It's literally transparent. And it does not push in it. It's not the button. Instead, the button's on the back of it, right here. So if you press this button, the wings pop out like that. They're just the normal, basic, old Thinkway wings or whatever. He also has five sayings, which are basically identical to the original 1995 one, except for this one. This is an intergalactic emergency. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue! So... To infinity and beyond! I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. This is an intergalactic emergency is the only phrase I think that's, um, different compared to, or he's it's added compared to the normal think way, like the original one. I think the original one only had four phrases, and this guy has five. But his laser, you heard it in the old, the part. Lights up. And I am surprised by this buzz. This is the first one of the Disney, of the, um, these kind of Disney store buzz light ears I've ever had. I've been looking at them for years now. Um, and they've never really come into my radar until very recently. And he is just super weird. Well, he's one, he's just such a bizarre buzz. Um, I'm not sure if this is anything specific, but there's like this little light up thing at the back, but there's no real light in it, so there isn't really anything to talk about there. He's just such a strange buzz, and um, I mean, with the wings and everything, and the, the removal of the push button, and the skinny head, and the long feet, he's just a very strange buzz altogether. Like, other than that, he's pretty normal. I mean, like, some of the paint jobs are weird. Like, this is an almost navy-ish blue for some reason, rather than a purple. But he's just very strange when lined up with a lot of my other Buzz Light ears. Um, so, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the review. Um, this is As I'm Speaking. I think I have 600 subscribers now. Which, thank you for that, that's big. And also, I have nearly 4,000 hours of watch time. I think I have, like, 3,950 hours. So I'm very close. So thank you all so much. Um, I'm very excited to complete to um, continue making this kind of content. And I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to try my best to upload um, up until probably around August when I have to go back to school and whatnot. But... Thank you. Um, this kind of this review is a bit longer. I kind of rambled on at the end. Um, subscribe if you want, and see ya.